This is Twit. Spoiled Onion is the Tor network compromised. This comes out of a, a few researchers who were looking at the Tor exit nodes. Now, if you don't know what the Tor ne network is, it means you probably haven't been watching all the episodes of Twite. We talked about it quite extensively. The idea is you encapsulate your traffic within different layers of encryption and you make sure that every node it goes through only knows the router it's coming from and the router it's going to. It's a good way to grant anonymity in the internet, keep people from backtracking the traffic. Well, one of the fears of people who use the Tor network is that what are called the exit relays, the, the connecting nodes between the Tor network and the open internet would be compromised. And if those nodes were compromised, people could do things like, oh, I don't know, sniff where the traffic was coming from. They could inject their own packets into that traffic. They could read it. They could change it. They could do all sorts of nasty things. Anything you might think about on the edge of a network. Well, these researchers took a look at 5,000 relays or so, saw that 1,000 of them at any given time were exit relays and saw suspicious activity on 25 of them. Now, it should be noted that the Tor network is fluid. So when they say that they looked at 1,000 exit relays, they, they mean that they saw at any given time 1,000 relays that were the exit relays. And in actuality, there were probably three, 4,000 different exit relays, of which 25 were found to have suspicious, suspicious traffic. Not necessarily malicious traffic, but suspicious traffic. Chibert, let me throw this over to you first. The Tor network has been one of those things that has become more popular in the last year or so with the revelations about NSA spying. If it's broken fundamentally, if it's this easy to, to compromise the exit relays, does this kill it in its infancy? That kind of, why bother? You know, if someone can track what you're doing just by compromising the exit relays, then why bother? But then again, I don't know a whole lot about the Tor network, so let's, let's be truthful about that. Um, all the stuff that I do on the network is either, you know, is stuff that I'm, I'm willing to fess up to. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oliver, let me throw this over to you. When we talk about the Tor network, one of the things that we have to note is that people have caught, the FBI has caught suspects using the Tor network, not by compromising the exit relays, but by doing old-fashioned malware hacks. They infiltrated the servers that these people were accessing, installed malware, which would then go back to the client's computer, bypass the Tor network, and give them the actual IP address. Is, is it really necessary for us to, to violate the, the, the sanctity of the Tor network in order to, to do what, what basic police work on the, in, in an internet age? I don't know, it kind of sound like Brian, you know, why not? <laughs> We've done it everywhere else and everything else has been violated. I don't see any reason why the Tor network should be excluded. Right, right. Okay, I, I get that. Now, it should be noted that since the Tor network works like any other routed network in that it looks for the shortest possible path, the shortest possible latency to the next hop, those compromised exit relays, which may be injecting traffic, would by their very nature be slower than anything else on the network. And therefore, what the researchers found was that even with compromised ex exit nodes, exit relays, most likely there wasn't a significant amount of traffic passing through them, so there wasn't a significant amount of harm. But I think that this is a story we should keep our eye on because as the Tor network becomes more and more popular, in fact, we're going to be building up an easy-to-use Tor mod in uh, our Twit do-it-yourself show know-how. Uh, this, this could be a, a growing story for the geek on the go.